Hi guys. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, very simple, very fast, very basic meatloaf. First thing you want to do is uh, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And I usually set my timer for an hour and 15 minutes and I'll explain to you why. First off, you want to start with fresh ground beef. All right, and I've set everything out like eggs and stuff like that ahead of time uh, to get it room temperature, okay? Next thing you want to do is one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Always, always, always wash your hands with antibacterial soap before starting this and always wash your hands with antibacterial soap after because you are messing with raw meat. Okay, salt, pepper, then one can of cream of mushroom soup. Soak up all the extra moisture in your meat 
and they'll end up tasting like it'll pull all the flavors and everything right into the the noodles, pasta, whatever you want to call them, and it doesn't end up getting big bites of uh, oh, uh, crackers or or uh, oatmeal or cornflakes, whatever you use. All right, now what I do is once I do that, I cover it up and I let it set for about 15 minutes, and that gives the noodles time to soak up that extra moisture before I go on with it. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay guys, uh, one thing I forgot to tell you is don't use a lot of salt. I use one small teaspoon and the reason being is because your Lipton onion soup has salt in it and if you use a flavor packet from the Raymond noodles it has salt in it. Uh, but if you don't want to use the flavor packet from the Raymond noodles use one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and it has salt in it so be really careful about that. Alright then you want to take a loaf pan and get all your meat into the pan. What I do is start right down the middle
Now, what you want to do is put this back in the oven for, I'd say, 20 minutes, but you want to cook the ketchup. So we need to put this back in the oven for about 20 minutes, and I'll be back then. Okay, guys, here it is. Uh, usually I serve this with um, homemade KFC coleslaw, uh, maybe some mashed potatoes and gravy, or uh, coleslaw and green beans. Um, but it's really good. And I promise you, your kids are going to love it. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you at least give it a try. Um, try it like this the first time before you go add another stuff to it. Because bell peppers, all of that crap, changes the flavor of it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you try it.